Hi, welcome back to Manohar Academy. In this lesson, we are going to learn about the final methods and final classes. So in a class, some of the methods or all of the methods can be marked as final. So when we say a method is marked as final, the subclasses, they cannot override these final methods. So previously we have seen that whatever methods the subclasses are inheriting, they can override that particular behavior so that the dynamic polymorphism will work whenever the method is called based on the object, the proper version or the, the method that is appropriate for that particular object type will be called. So we have seen all those things, method overriding, the poly, uh, dynamic polymorphism uh, and all those, uh, all those, all those things. But if a method is declared as final, the subclasses cannot override those behaviors. We will see some examples where it is appropriate for the superclass to say, okay, my implementation or the implementation that I am providing is final. Whoever is creating subclasses or whoever is deriving their classes from my class, they cannot override this particular method's behavior. Okay, that is about final method. But a class can itself be final. So when we say a class is final, it cannot be used to derive the new classes. So we cannot derive any new classes from the final class. So what is the use? Yes, obviously there is a use. I mean, the class is final. That means it is implemented thoroughly and all the use cases or all the scenarios uh, that, that, are, that need to be satisfied by that class are already taken care. So no one can derive from that. Also, sometimes it is very important that no one can imp uh, derive from that class and provide different implementations and provide those types because always we can pass the subtype in, in place of super type or we can pass the child class in place of parent class. So we don't want that to happen. So in those cases, the class can be declared as final class. So. A method that is marked as final is a final method. A class that is marked as final is a final class. Okay, some examples. The math class that we have seen previously, that is final. The string class, that is final. String is used very extensively. So we don't want someone to create the subclass from string and change the behavior there. We don't want that. So whenever we are talking about string, we want to talk about only one particular kind, not it's, there shouldn't be any subtypes for that. Okay, let's see that in the ID. So here, let's go to person. Person is abstract, that is okay. Um, or we can make it anything. We can remove the get occupation, met get occupation method. But this is where we were left in the previous lesson when we learned abstract methods and abstract classes. Okay, now I'm going to create a method called get age. So for this to happen, we should have the date of birth. Okay, the local date is in java.time package, it is inherited. Okay, so I'm going to return some age, let, let me hard code something 21 here. So here I'm going to calculate the age by choosing today's date and subtracting that from the date of birth. So because I know the date of birth, I can always calculate age. But now let me say, because I, I don't want any other implementations to exist for get age. So because if it is not final, in the child class, in the student class, I can simply override it. So let me override that one. So I can provide some other implementation here. So here I'm returning 31. That's okay. I mean, there can be some calculation, but I'm hard coding to keep it simple. So the child, ca child classes, they can modify the behavior and they can have their own method to calculate the age. But the person class, when it has been created, they, they doesn't want that to happen. Anyone can derive from person, but they should not change the implementation of get age. So in that case, we can add final keyword here to make this particular method as 
final meaning this implementation whatever i am writing here it is final no one can change this behavior or this implementation now the student he can't change it he can't override it as you know the to change the behavior we need to override the particular method but because that particular method is declared as final in student class i can't change that so if you see here get age in student cannot override get age in person because that is final so that is all about the final methods now final classes okay in this test let me create one more class something a extends math i can't do that why because the final the math class is final so if i if you see here the math class this is java api so the math class is declared as final class so you can't derive the classes from math class so is the string class so we don't we can't extend the string class these are final because the api developers or the library developers they have taken every care to make sure the string uh, is final and it has all the required implementations also if it can be if any other class can be derived from string i can change the behavior there so and it um, the virtual machine greatly depends on this string to work properly and we don't want to have any other implementations so because of that reason some classes they can be declared as final and whenever a class is declared as final we cannot provide any other implementations or we cannot derive any other classes now now we know the abstract classes and final classes whenever a class is abstract there should be some concrete classes right otherwise we there is no use i mean we can't create objects of that particular class so abstract class always means okay there should be some inheritance someone should create subclass and final classes means okay no one should create any subclasses so there can't be any method any class that is abstract as well as final why if it is final no one can implement it if it is abstract someone should implement it so they are contradicting so we cannot have abstract and final together so that is what it is saying illegal combination of modifiers access modifiers that abstract and final so let me remove final also in the previous lesson i covered this one but i'm just covering again uh, this abstract method it can't be private so if it is private no one will be able to override this one so again illegal combination of modifiers abstract and private so abstract it cannot go along with private or final that is all from this lesson let me recap a final method is a method that is marked with final keyword that means the subclasses they cannot modify the behavior that is inherited from the superclass a final class is a class that is declared as final and no derived classes can exist for a final class so if you write something like class a extends some final class you are going to get a compilation error so very thorough care has been taken will be taken whenever someone creates final classes examples of final classes are math and string there are very good examples okay that is all from this lesson last but not least if you haven't subscribed already please go ahead and subscribe and also if you are benefited from this video please make sure you like this video and you share it with your friends so that they can also watch they can also learn thank you for watching see you in the next lesson